Hi, and welcome to another episode of Casual Learning. I'm your host, John Bannon. What's the deal with people who steal credit? <laughs> you may run into these people. Uh, they, they have a certain skill at deception uh, and a skill at knowing what is going on in other people's brains, knowing what people think, what they, what, you know, assumptions they may make. Uh, and these people may take advantage of that skill of theirs to steal somebody else's credit. Um, you know, uh, generally speaking, if, if you do something good, you should get the credit for it. Simple. But there are people who will try and steal that credit from you. Uh, and uh, that, that's just wrong. Uh, but uh, they'll do it anyway. And if you, know, if you don't recognize what they're doing or try to get your credit back from them, it's just going to go on and you'll lose, you'll lose the credit that you deserved. Uh, now... These, these sorts of people believe that perception is reality. That um, their main concern is how, how people perceive things. Because they know that people act and believe on what they perceive. Not on what is actually true. They may perceive something to be true. But be completely wrong about that. Um, it's their perception that really guides them. And there are people, that, you know, dishonest people that will take advantage of that. That they understand people's perceptions and where people might make errors in judgment or mistakes about perception and believe something that isn't true. But they're not going to correct them and they're going to use it to their advantage. Because they know that the, these people can be uh, manipulated in that sense. Because th they can't perceive the actual truth. Perception to them, perception is reality. Well, reality is reality. But for these individuals, these dishonest individuals I'm talking about, they live their life uh, under the belief that perception is reality. Only perception matters. That's not true. Uh, reality is reality. Truth is truth. Truth matters. But not to these people. They're, they're dishonest people to begin with, so it's not really a surprise that they think perception is reality. Uh, so, you know, here's a couple quotes that I think pertain to this question to some extent. Uh, Sunlight is the best disinfectant. Who said that? Uh, Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis. Uh, and what does that mean? That means... Um, telling the truth, exposing the truth, is the best cure for um, uh, corruption. Uh, corrupt people and corruption doesn't like people finding out that it's going on. Uh, it relies on secrecy, or it relies on people, you know, not exposing it to others. So it can perpetuate itself and continue to get its benefits because people aren't stopping it and people aren't exposing it. So sunlight is the best disinfectant. That is openness. Um, telling people what's going on is the best disinfectant to this sort of dishonesty and corruption. Uh, here's another quote. And this, this is from Jesus. Uh, Everyone who does evil hates the light. And does not come into the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. So Jesus knew this principle as well. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. He's saying, you know, evil people don't like their evil deeds to be brought out into daylight where other people can see it. They want to, they're afraid of the light. They're afraid of it being exposed. And they rely on the secrecy to continue their evil behavior. 
How do you counter that evil behavior? You expose it. <laughs> you know, sometimes the newspapers will run exposés on so and so. They expose this evil doing, and then and that evil doer gets in trouble, big trouble, and everybody else finds out that so and so has been scamming them the whole time, and that's how you get rid of a lot of this corruption. It's through exposure. Uh, evil people, they don't like exposure. They don't like the light. Um, people who try to, you know, can control the facts uh, so that other people don't find out the truth about something. Um, these are evil people. Uh, these are people who don't like the light. Um, you know, according to Jesus, these are evil people. Uh, people who steal credit, they're evil people. They, you know, they, they, they're trying to control the facts, the facts uh, of do other people know who actually deserves the credit? Who actually was responsible for this? And they're controlling that, that perception among people and making those people think it was them. But it wasn't. These are evil people. They're dishonest. They're liars. Um, so you should be aware of it. You know, there are people who will steal credit. No doubt about it. Uh, these people often think um, you know, you tell somebody a lie and they'll believe it because they haven't heard anything to the contrary. Um, or maybe this person is in a position of authority and that the other person is, is thinking, well, they wouldn't lie. <laughs> maybe they do lie. You just don't realize it. They tell you something and you think it's true. Uh, and especially, you know, you're far more likely to believe something is true in the absence of any knowledge about the subject whatsoever. So, you know, let's say you start off, you don't know anything about some matter, you know, nothing about it. And then somebody, you know, some dishonest person tells you, oh, did you hear blah, blah, blah happened? And this is what happened. Well, that could be a total lie. But because you don't know anything about the whole thing, you tend to presume that whatever you were told is true. It could be a total lie, totally false, fake, a lie done by a manipulator or one of these evil people who, you know, steal credit. But because you don't have any other information about it in your mind, you believe it. You gotta be, you really should take what people say with a grain of salt or, you know, trust but verify, you know, this is, this is a great philosophy, I find. Um, trust but verify. You don't have to tell somebody... You know, I don't believe you, or you argue with them about whether it's true or not, or how do you know that? You I mean you could do that, but you don't necessarily. You could give them a presumption of trust, a presumption that what they're saying is true. But verify it. You know, if it's important, um, if it's not important, just just take it with a grain of salt. Say, yeah, maybe he needs to tell the truth. Maybe he isn't. Or maybe he doesn't know what he's talking about. He thinks it's that way, but it really isn't because he just doesn't know what he's talking about. Kind of dumb. Irrational, whatever. But if it's important enough, you, you, I, I don't want to say you don't trust people, but verify the truth. Is it true? If it's important enough, find out. Ask other people. Do some research yourself. Um, logically figure out the facts. Is this possible? Can, can you prove it? Um, is it verifiable? If it's not verifiable, then you probably just shouldn't accept it as truth. It's just one of those things somebody said. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. People like to gossip and spread stories and rumors and all sorts of stuff that isn't true. Just don't, just don't believe it because someone told you it. Uh, so the, these sort of credit stealers, dishonest people, um, they, they may tell you a lie because they figure you're never going to verify it. Never. You're not sophisticated enough to do that. You're not interested enough to do that. 
you don't have the means to do that or the motivation to do that. So they know that you're not going to verify it. So you're just going to believe whatever they say because they said it and you don't know anything to differ. So um, you believe it. You know, it's kind of dumb for you to be like that. Uh, it's be much smarter to verify stuff or you know, be skeptical of what people say. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people just lazy, dumb. They just believe whatever somebody tells them. Don't be like that. Otherwise, you, you can easily be uh, a, vic a victim of these dishonest people. Um, they, these people may also... Um, yeah, they they may they may spread some lie, some nonsense, knowing that the truth, the person who deserves the credit, for instance, isn't going to correct it. They're not going to confront everybody or confront that person because they're afraid of confrontation. I mean, a lot of people are afraid of confrontation. It's just not worth it to them to, to get all angry and conf and confront people about what they're saying or asking about people behind their, you know, what, what has he been saying about me behind my back, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just too much, it's too intimidating for them to go through that process. They just don't want to. It's uncomfortable. Maybe they're wrong about their assumptions. They just don't do that out, out of habit. And, um, you know, the person who steals the credit may, may very well know that that person is like that and they're not going to, they're not going to try to correct the record. So they, so the, the person who steals the credit gets away with it. Um, you know, these, these sorts of people, uh, they, they tell lies, uh, and they know that you, you, you tell a lie often enough, it can become the truth because you tell a lie often enough and you spread it and other people spread it. And then everybody has heard the same lie and because it's been spread so much and so many people uh, have heard it and think that, then there's sort of a, an irrational belief that it, it's true. Because how could it not be true? Because so many people know it, right? Oh, no, you, so many people could know a complete lie, right? That doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> you know, uh, what, what did Mark Twain say something? He says something like, you know, a lie can go around the world seven times before the truth ever gets its boots off. <laughs> and that's true. That's very true. Uh, and, you know, people like, to, people like gossip and they like to believe, you know, sensational lies. Uh, what are you going to do, you know? And these, these manipulative credit-stealing types... Uh, they know that that's how people behave, and they, and they know they can spread lies and turn them into truths, even though they're not true. <laughs> um, again, these, these people really, uh, they believe perception is reality, and they're very attuned to what people think or what they're thinking, um, what assumptions they make uh, about who deserves credit and who doesn't. You know, if you're, if you're talking about an authority figure, um, the, you know, the leader of some group or company or maybe the leader of a, a team, a coach or something like that. Um, if something happens, they know that people are, de are generally going to assume that the authority figure was the one responsible for it. Uh, and, and that's a good chance that's not true. It's, just, it's somebody else, uh, an, uh, an underling or an assistant coach or, um, Maybe somebody, an outsider, total outsider, nobody even knows about them. But they, they, they'll assume that the, the, you know, the head figure is the one who, who is responsible for this. So they, they, they know, this, this uh, head figure knows that people are going to assume that they're the, the responsible party. So if something good happens, they love to take, steal people's credit. Because they know people are going to assume it was them that did it. Even though it wasn't. They had nothing to do with it. But because they're in a position of authority, it's so easy for them to steal an underling's credit. Very easy. Because they know people are going to assume it was the head guy. Uh, but the truth is it wasn't. But the head guy steals the credit anyway because it makes him look good. And the person who actually did it gets no credit. And, you know, nobody knows they, they were the ones who actually did it. Um... You know, this is 
this sort of credit stealing and manipulation of what people think, uh, it's evil. <laughs> it's, it's fundamentally dishonest. Uh, uh, but it happens a lot. Uh, and uh, it's not Christian. Christian, Christian is be, you know, open and honest in the light. Uh, these people are not Christian. Uh, so, what can you do about it? Well, like the bit, you know, you can try to correct the record, um, let people know that you deserve the credit, not so and so. It was me. Um, you can try to expose that person to as many people as you can, and th those people aren't going to like that. You know, they may consider that, you know, you're bad-mouthing them, right? Well, you're not bad-mouthing them. Bad-mouthing is really slander. It's saying something about somebody else that just isn't true. You're not bad-mouthing them. You're exposing them. You're exposing the truth. That's not bad-mouthing. They may think it's bad-mouthing, but it's not. There's no, uh, you have no obligation not to expose somebody else's lies and deceits and uh, dishonesty and credit-stealing. You have no moral obligation to do that, as, especially as a Christian. Um, absolutely not. You, you can tell everybody that you know that so-and-so is taking credit. He doesn't deserve it. The truth is X, Y, Z happened. So do that. Uh, you, you shouldn't uh, allow these people to get away with um, what they're doing, their evil acts. Expose them to the light. Expose them to the light. Expose them. Uh, and you're doing the right thing. And they're wrong. And don't believe that you shouldn't you shouldn't expose people. You should for their wrongdoing. Absolutely. It's not your obligation to protect them from the consequences of their wrongful behavior. Yeah, because these, these people don't want you to expose them because then they got they have to suffer consequences for what they've said. And they don't want to suffer consequences. You know, evildoers and these sorts of dishonest people, they don't want to suffer consequences punishment for what they do so they'll try to you know make you think you, oh you shouldn't expose them be uh or tell other people what actually happened because they don't want to suffer the consequences even people that you know they, they just want to get away with what they want to do and not suffer any consequences but expose them make them suffer the consequences they deserve it they deserve to suffer the consequences for stealing somebody's credit they deserve that period they're not moral people. They deserve punishment in that sense. Give it to them. You're right. They're wrong. Uh, okay, that's that's all I, <laughs> I have to say for now about credit stealers, people who steal other people's credit. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's unfortunate that there are people like that. And there are. Make no, no doubt about it. There are. Uh, and you will run into them, and uh, but yeah, but you do have some recourse. Uh, expose them. Let other people know what the truth really is. Get that credit back to you, because you deserve it. You did it. They don't deserve it. They're they're, they're trying to steal from you essentially. They're thieves. Thieves of your credit. Don't let them do it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Maybe I'll address them in a future video or in the comment section below. Uh, and uh, please uh, press the subscribe button. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, take care, guys.